Well, I think he's got a lot of hand movement. I've never seen so much hand movement. I said, is he crazy or is that just the way he acts? What's up, boys? We are back at it again today with another video. I'm really excited for this one, and I'll, I'll tell you why in a second, but dude, <laughs> yes! Um, no, but for real, I am really excited. Um, we got a new map from Dizzy, so we're gonna load that in really quick. I'm gonna give you guys a cold start, and then we got some day logging to do, we got some oil changing to do, and I, I, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. He didn't say that. But we're going to Chuck Waller Raceway, baby. Hey! <laughs> But uh, I'm not taking my car, so kind of an L, but we're not done tuning. It's not ready to go to the track. I need a radiator. So this car will not be seeing the track today, but a bunch of other cool cars will. And I'm going to show you what they are because they're, they're fucking ridiculous, to be honest. But all right, enough talking. Let's get this map loaded, cold start it, and let's go. You know what? Actually, while we're loading the map, I just wanted to say thank you guys because a lot of you guys came and followed the Instagram that I that I made, which is crazy. So again, it's Griffin Blanchard YT. It's going to be popped up like somewhere on the screen. <laughs> old baby never gets old tell you what I don't like to see that it's okay though uh, okay everybody it's the do not judge challenge here we go yeah dude I'm pulling straight up to Jiffy Lube right now and getting an oil change I'm not doing it myself I got way too much to do today and uh, yeah we're doing that so let's go ahead and pull up on these fools and see what they say almost took an L there trying to get up into the Jiffy Lube Bay and uh, scrape the shit out of my exhaust let's go all right, try again, here we go. Woo, we did it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll get to check in in a second. Cool. Just pop your head for us. Yeah. All right, oil change went well. Five weight 30. I wanna know what you guys run because on Woosh's website, it says five weight 30 or five weight 40 for oil. I obviously do quite a bit of pulls in this car. I mean, I kind of abuse the shit out of it, like low key. I think five weight 40 might actually be a better option for me because it says heavy use, but what is heavy use? Like, am, 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 do I use it heavily or am I still like not that heavy? I can't tell, so I don't know, let me know. We are going to do some data logs in a second here with a new tune and then we're gonna go get something to eat. I wanna say something really quick. My last video I said that at 29 PSI, and on my access port, I did hit 29 PSI, but when I looked at the logs that I sent Jason at Dizzy, it says I maxed out at like 27.2, which is within the safe limit. I don't know what that was, but on my access port, sometimes it says 29. We're about to see if that happens again, because if it does, I will show you, just so you know that I'm not lying, but this is a new map, so I don't know if we're actually gonna do that again, but let's go day long and see what happens. All right, gonna get to third gear at two and a half, and we'll pin it and see what happens. And go. <laughs> Feels good, baby. She still moves. Yeah, that, it's the same as the last map, pretty much. That that feels fantastic. Dude, I cannot wait for ethanol, man. This is gonna be fucked. Woo! That was 27 pounds. 27.03 is what that read, so that's really solid. Dude, yes! All right, so data logging obviously went pretty well. It's still fast as <laughs> shit. <laughs> so we've got the GoPro on my fat head with my massive hairline L, and we're gonna go scare some people with this blow-off valve. Just, see, just, get, just get the reactions, just a little confusion. I don't wanna actually scare people. I just wanna see them go like this. Huh? Because I think that's probably one of the funniest things in the world. I'll be honest. <laughs> I think that's really funny. 
All right, let's see if we can find walking today. Hey, I'm walking here, you know, I'm walking. Here, this is a good one right here. This guy's a good candidate. Watch this, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Ready? How do you not care about that? How do you not care that that, that just made that noise? Clean M3. Damn. <laughs> there we go. There's one, boys. Put some recognition on my name right now. Damn it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, sorry. I am sorry, really, but it's funny. Why is that so funny to me, dude? They just, the people have no idea what it is. They have to look. Watch this dog right here, Princeton. <laughs> but like this chick right here is definitely gonna notice me. Oh, everyone's got AirPods in, dude. No one can hear anything. America, take out the AirPods and pay attention. Boys, I almost forgot that the first five people that commented on my last post on Instagram, Griffin Blanchard YT, check it out, you boy, are getting a shout out. So we got Kai Kelly, Hutch Bill, Cooper Blanchard, which is my fucking brother, Jojo, JTB, Bryce Rupnow, and Eric Lund. That was six, baby. It wasn't five. If you guys want to follow me on there, I post there a lot more than I do on YouTube, only because it's a lot easier to do. Go figure. Follow me on there. All right. 60 roll. Or actually, it's like a 55. Look at that thing move, dude. Damn. And it sounds so good, dude. Oh my God, this thing's a blast, dude. Dude, it, it, it didn't lose any torque either, which is great. Like it still has that torque and top end. It's a double, baby. It's a double whammy. What the fuck? What is that? Every time I drop like from three and a half to three, there's this like whirring noise and it's not, it doesn't sound like a transmission. It sounds like. Do you hear that? You guys hear that, right? I know for a fact that you guys can hear that. You can hear that. That, what the, what is that? I hope I didn't break the turbo or something. I hope I didn't overspin it. That would really suck. <laughs> that would be extremely disappointing, but I don't think that's what happened, but I don't know. Do you guys have any idea what that noise is? Okay, I'm trying not to like freak out, but I really, really am not enjoying that noise like at all. So let me set the camera up and see if we can hear from the outside and just let's see if you guys can determine what that is for me. I'm really nervous to post this though, because like I don't want the anxiety of like, oh, what you fucking, your motor's done, dude. Like, no, dude, it's not done. It's never done. I know you guys can hear that. I don't know, dude. I don't really enjoy that, though, <laughs> to be fully honest with you. All right, I'm going to go get some food, and then I want to talk about something with the boys. Damn. Cool, so, look at this. This is what we got. Your yeah, boy. So yeah, I wanted to talk about something real quick with you guys. On, uh, oh wow, it's it's today. November 18th. Uh, it has been exactly a year since I posted my first video on YouTube under this channel. So, that's crazy, dude. I cannot believe it. I'm thinking about getting another car. <laughs> I'm keeping this one, so don't worry. I'm, I'm keeping this one, but I think I'm trying to do some drifting, so. For those of you who don't know, I've had five Miatas, okay? Basically, I'm a professional drifter at this point. I'm just kidding, I'm not. It's something that I really, really do miss, and I really want to get into on, like, a competitive level. Maybe not, like, professional, obviously, but I definitely want to go to, like, events and competitions and, like, do that. That's a goal of mine. In order to do that, we need something rear-wheel drive. <laughs> so, unless I plan on converting this thing, which I don't, we need a different car. Oh, fuck. Oh, I lost it in the sauce, dude. I lost it in the sauce. We're good. So I'm thinking like maybe some sort of E30, maybe another Miata, but also maybe a 240, 
I don't really know. Honestly, I haven't really looked too much into it, but I really am. I've been thinking about it quite a bit. I want to know what your guys' suggestions are for rear wheel drive cars that are relatively cheap because obviously I don't have that much money, obviously at all. You know, I'm willing to spend some money to invest back into the channel because I think it, I think it's going to grow and it is growing, which is, which is crazy. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys because we got 3,200 of you guys. You guys are like real people. <laughs> like I know it sounds stupid, but like I don't look at you as like, oh, like I have this many subscribers. Like I got, I got this many fools, dude. I got this many bros, dude. Kind of sick, dude. I don't know. I think for the first year of doing this, I think we did pretty good. I think this next year, next November 18th, will probably be a lot farther than we are now. And that's going to be really exciting to look back on this and be like, oh, like, <laughs> I remember when I was sitting in my Fiesta ST and now I got, you know, two E30s with 1J and 2J swaps and a 240 in a shop. You never know, dude. All right, boys, what is going on? I'm back at it later in the day. Like I said, we are going to Chuck Walla Raceway right now, and we're with a couple really sick cars. We're with an E30 M3 that's like fully built. You guys have seen it on the channel before. And we're also with an R30, an R32 GTR, which is Josh's. These are the guys at Garage Collective, so we're gonna be with them for the rest of the night. But I will film us going up there, and I'll show you the cabin that we're staying. And then we're ending the vlog right there, because I'm not giving you guys too much, damn. So yeah, this is the lineup we're working with. I'd say it's a pretty good lineup. I'm currently editing the vlog that you guys are watching, but I'm trying to get Josh and Grayson to race against each other right now. Let's see if they do it. They got a good opportunity. If they don't, they're fools. <laughs> All right, boys, so we are almost at Chuck Walla Raceway. We're in a BMW M3, it's an F80, it's stage two. It's pretty freaking quick and I'll show you how quick it is right now. We're gonna do a poll. We're at blank miles an hour, I cannot say. And we'll go to fourth gear and we'll just go. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> this thing absolutely cruises. I'm gonna update you boys when we get to the cabin. We're there in like 20 minutes, like I said. But guys, it's gonna be fucking crazy. So just stay tuned. Just give me one second. I'll be right back. So you guys can't see it real well, but here's the F80 that we drove up. I'm gonna give you a tour of our cabin really quick. This is so sick, dude. It's my first time at a racetrack ever. And we brought the sickest lineup of cars. Like I said, we got the E30 M3, then we got this GTR behind me, but here's our cabin really quick. And also I'm staying with my boy, Andrew. What's up? From Garage Collective, <laughs> baby. And this is the cabin, so. The pull, first of all, if anyone is gonna go to Chuck Walla for whatever reason, the pull-up bed is like fantastic as we've learned recently, which is good. This is the bedroom. The bed is like a little legit bed with some windows and like a metal seat it looks like. But overall this place is really sick. I'm honestly surprised and I cannot fucking wait to get on the track tomorrow with these guys and see what happens. But boys, I'm gonna close it out here because I've got some eating to do and I've got some preparing to do and some editing. So with that being said, boys, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.